The news tonight, a group of local artisans believe a longtime form of Bahamian cultural expression is under threat and say if the trade were to die, it would be a great loss to the country. Cleopatra Murphy tells us what the threat is and why they're calling for more steps to, to encourage the craft. Wood carvers at the Nassau Straw Market say the craft is a dying art form. Many, like James Rule, after more than 40 years in the industry, say government must put in place greater protection for local artisans because the proliferation of art pieces from countries like Cuba, the Philippines, and China are killing the Bahamian industry. As long as you're competing against a foreign work in your own country, it's a waste of time. Because they go to Cuba, buy them for a dollar, two dollars. And what would really happen in that, the work come from Cuba come with a lot of time, mate. So what happened when they sell them to the tourists, and custom take it, they say, well, the wood them, they buy the wood carving in the Bahamas, which full of time, right? So then they can make it bad in a little bit, when they don't stop. Us from selling wood carving the state, then who you can sell it to? In good times, Roll sold some large pieces as high as $2,500, but says business has dropped considerably and tourists now prefer cheaper pieces. Roll refuses to teach his children the craft because he feels there is no profitability in the business. I'd like to see it continue going on, but until the government get in and change the policy would be under right now, I would advise no one to get into this. Like Roll, woodcarver Winston Pennerman admits he has some foreign pieces simply because they are cheap and sell easier, but it's sad to see the trade slowly dying. We can make this stuff only because we have on our license, you know, we have wood carving and souvenirs. That's where the souvenirs come in. But to my knowledge, I don't need none of them on my job. Because there ain't much of them out here could beat me carving this fast enough. Another wood carver, Audley Jolly, says he is saddened by the trade's decline. Jolly wishes foreign pieces did not dominate the scene today, but says it is partly because Bahamians do not appreciate their culture. He suggests government should encourage the craft by refocusing young men who are better at working with their hands. Once you work with people and they see real reason why I should do this, they don't want to do it. You know, but the first thing we do in incarceration, that don't help. That don't help. The group would like to see a resurgence of the craft and would be willing to teach their skills to young people. However, they say there must be an interest to stop a complete takeover by foreign products. Cleopatra Murphy. Set in S Network News.